Erev Tov, I'm Stephen Ben-Noon, and you're watching Israeli News Live. I'd like to thank Brother Paul, who left a comment in the comment section on our, one of our latest news broadcasts about the Russian negotiations. He sent me a link in, the, in, in our, in our uh, comment section about an article that had just been released that Russia and uh, Iran have signed a deal. I'm going to take you to that article in just a moment. Before I do, let me take you to FARS News. Uh, FARS News is the Iranian news source that you can read in English uh, if you ever want to see what's going on there. And, and uh, they are actually reporting this news here already in Iran, of course, uh, is where it originated from. It says, uh, uh, the Tehran Iranian Defense Minister Brigadier General Hossein uh, Dekan announced endorsement of an agreement with Russia to enhance and accelerate defensive cooperation between the two countries. Uh, we agreed to accelerate our cooperation in defense and military technologies, Dekan said in a joint press conference with his Russian counterpart, General Sergei uh, Soiga, in Tehran on Tuesday. The conditions ruling the region and international issues showed that a powerful Russia in cooperation with an independent and powerful Iran can leave durable impacts on regional peace and security, he added. Uh, Dekan underlined that the two countries' leaders are firmly determined to widen and enhance mutual cooperation in all fields. Uh, during the press conference, the Russian minister described cooperation between Iran and Russia as a major contributor to the establishment of global and regional security and stability. Uh, and said in his meeting with General Dekan, the two sides decided to strengthen practical dimensions of military cooperation between Tehran and Russia. In these negotiations, we discussed security in the region, in Middle East and Afghanistan, and our viewpoints were close or similar to each other, he added. Uh, we also exchanged views on the importance of, of coordination in fighting international terrorism and drug trafficking and underscored the importance of mutual cooperation considering the regional conditions, Soigu uh, said, the uh, Russian general who is also the defense minister of, of Russia. And I might add in this, it's very important that you may understand this, in Israel, some of the top insiders in the Israeli government actually have spoken to me before and have said that Israel was actually depending upon Russia to have its back in the wake of Turkey turning against Israel more and more. And they really expected that Russia would. But I wonder exactly what the, uh, the Israeli politicians are thinking now in light of Russia signing this cooperation deal with Iran. Do they really think now that Russia has their back? It very much concerns me, especially when in uh, the, uh, the uh, Iranian general speaks about the terrorists. They are working to deal with terrorists as well. Now, the terrorist in Iran's mind includes Israel. All you have to do is watch the news broadcast and know Israel is considered a terrorist in their sight as well. Uh, along with uh, ISIS, uh, ISIL, whichever name you want to give to them, those forces fighting Basra Assad in Syria are all considered terrorists on their list. And of course, the United States uh, publicly does not claim to back ISIS. They're there now attacking and bombing ISIS, but the the, uh, the militant group that is against Basra Assad, the United States backs them and arms them to do an overthrow of the Syrian government. So it's, it's very interesting. Everyone that is against Israel uh, is considered a terrorist by Iran. Uh, excuse me, everyone that is, that, that is on the United States side is considered a terrorist, including that of Israel as well. Uh, the, the news article, though, that the brother actually sent me or posted in our comment section it, this is from uh, the um, I-24 News on their website. It says Russia signs a military cooperation deal with Iran. And I really liked one of the, the, the statements in the article. It says Russian Defense Minister Sergei Soigi signed a military cooperation deal with Iran on Tuesday that his Iranian counterpart touted as a joint response to U.S. interference. I didn't actually get to see that quote, but that was extremely interesting. Uh, as, and I'll read that again to you. Uh, Sergei, Sergei Soigi signed a military cooperation deal with Iran on Tuesday that his Iranian counterpart touted as a joint response to U.S. interference. 
That is some pretty doggone harsh and strong words. This is directly uh, speaking against the coalition forces that are, that are fighting with ISIS in the region there. It is against uh, the U.S.'s uh, ambitions to take Syria um, and also that of Israel. Of course, we already know that Iran has swore to wipe Israel off the map. Now Israel is faced with Russia being a part of that group. So we clearly see the Gog and Magog lining up in a biblical way, in a biblical format. But before Gog and Magog can happen, there's a couple of things that are still yet on the horizon, some things I want to bring to your attention in another video, but let me just share this with you. We clearly see in Daniel that the prince that shall come, the prince that's a Roman prince, according to the prophecy in Daniel 9, but in chapter 11 near the ending of the chapter there, this prince hears the tidings out of the east and out of the north, clearly Russia and Iran that he's having to deal with. So he goes about to kill and take as much as he can and also puts up his own tabernacle there in the Holy Land there in Israel. So he's going to build, perhaps to the Israelis, he will tell them he's building a third temple when in fact it's really for the Pope of Rome. So this brings into to, to view for us to know that we, some events have to take place before Gog and Magog can actually begin to happen. And one of the things that I noticed as well, and again, I'll bring this out in another video, but when Gog and Magog comes, Israel is at peace. Most people would say right now, Israel is not at peace. But when the coalition force comes in there and pushes Hezbollah back out after Hezbollah attacks, there's going to be a little place of peace for just a little while. And of course, this will also be the time that I believe that God is going to reveal himself. The Messiah will reveal himself to Israel, to the house of Judah, according to Zechariah 12, that has already prophesied they will be home first, which they are now. And at the same time, while this revival begins to take place, this is when we will see, uh, of course, your two witnesses should be on the scene at that time as well. And we will also see that uh, Netanyahu has already opened and said for all Jews worldwide to come home. That will cause Jews from around the world to flood in. So all both house of Israel and the house of Judah will be at home because the house of Israel will see this revival take place going on in Israel. And again, mind, mind you, I believe it's only a remnant of Jews that will have this. You will be, there will be a, a, a conflict between some of the Jews of the nation as regards to this. But, but nonetheless, they will come home. There will be a quiet spell, a little quiet spell. And when Russia comes down for some battle in that area, they look and see that this nation of the unwalled cities is at rest. That's when they make that fatal mistake to invade uh, Russia, Iran, and all the band that is with them. And this is when God says he will sanctify himself before Israel in that battle. What does God mean by that? God will once again, as he sanctified his name by bringing the Jews back to their homeland, according to Ezekiel chapter 36, now God is going to sanctify himself before Israel to fight for Israel in the battles the way God did back during the Exodus. That's the type battle God will do with Gog and Magog. He will literally destroy the entire force that comes against Israel. They'll make the fatal mistake to turn into Israel. That's when God will take them down. I'm Stephen Bendenun. You're watching Israeli News Live. Stay tuned for more exciting uh, news. And I, I just can't help but telling you the side that shows the prophetic, uh, the prophetic insight to what's happening. God bless you and good evening.